Oh guys, and welcome to this mid-icon Fernando Torres player review. He looks amazing. Can't wait to try him. One of my favourite players of all time, being a Liverpool fan. In and around that era, he was just a, a, sensational. He was unbelievable. I'd probably say Suarez pitched into the post for me and Liverpool all-time great strikers. But then El Nino comes at a firm second. Um, this is the card. He looks absolutely insane, doesn't he? Six foot one, high medium work rate, four star skills, and a four star weak foot. His base card looks unreal, and he goes for nearly 700k at the moment, which is very, very steep for any player on this game. Um, if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews and FIFA related content. Now, looking at his attributes, that are absolutely insane. Obviously, he is rapid 94, acceleration 89, sprint speed The shooting category is stacked, 92 finishing. And it's outrageous that this guy does not have the outside of the foot shot trait. Absolutely outrageous, but he doesn't. 83 shot power, 79 long shots, 82 volleys and 89 penalties are his shooting stats there. His passing, yeah, not great, not going to lie. 53 long pass is absolutely shocking, isn't it? Uh, 79 short pass isn't too bad, but not the greatest in the world. He does have finesse shot traits, so it is 99 curve every time he takes a finesse shot. Uh, his dribbling stats are pretty good. Lowest being 81, which is his balance. Um, 87 agility, really good there. 90 reactions, 85 ball control, 86 dribbling and 85 composure. His end accuracy is 82 and his jumping is 84, so he probably can win headers. Um, we'll have to find out in the review, won't we? 84 stamina is really good for a striker on this game. Uh, anything above, say, 82 is pretty damn decent. Strength of 75 and aggression of 63. And there is his icon profile for you. And he does have the finesse shot trait, as I've already talked about. This team I'm going to play him in. Two strike formation, changing game to a 4 triple 2 and have, um, I'm going to play Torres on the right hand side, cutting across with the outside of the foot shots. I know he doesn't have it, but I'm sure with the amazing finishing, he's going to be able to smash them in the back of the net nonetheless. Um, I can't wait to get into the review. Without further ado, let's go into the gameplay and see if the Fernando Torres card is worth that nearly 700k price tag. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, u7buy.com. Are you looking for cheap and reliable FIFA coins to have insane teams like mine? Then check out U7 Buy and use code Josh97 to get 5% off at checkout. Link is in the description below. Here we go into match number one. Let's have a look at the team. Pretty decent defence though. He's got Kyle Walker and he was lucky enough to get himself a red Dembele. GG to you mate. My red picks were absolutely crap this week. I think got Henderson, I can't even remember who the other one was, it was that bad. But let's go with Torres. Oh, we find Torres! And that is where the finesse shot trait comes into play. His first goal in the review and it took it very, very nicely. Lovely finesse shot. You know, not everyone's putting that in the back of the net from the... Uh, especially on the finesses this year because they're not as overpowered as previous FIFAs. But Torres with the finesse shot trait and his high finishing manages to bag a goal for us. What a goal it was. Torres! Oh, decent effort. It's been a tough game this one to be fair. Torres nearly scores again there. First time left footed effort. Again, really good strike from him. It was really quick. But he managed to absolutely smack a Rooney it. And the keeper just got his fingertips on it. Very unlucky. Smack a Rooney it. I come up with some shit, don't I? Oh, through there. Great run from him. Nice one too. Just couldn't get the goal again. Oh, lovely run. Can he score? Oh! He just couldn't get it in the back of the net. We've been unlucky here. To be honest, he was getting pushed over there by the defender. And he got the shot off. It was just wide. He's been really good. His attack positioning is great. His run making is great. Um, his passing is shit, as we guessed going into this anyway. 
but all in all, he's been really, really decent in this first game. As I said, it's been a tough first game to be fair with him. So, um, yeah, he's done well to get a goal. So we do finish his first game with a draw. Torres did get a goal and he took his goal nice. He did have quite a few attempts on goal, but the keeper was too good for him. Um, I can't really grumble at his performance in this first game. Tough opponent, really good opponent and it was a really good game all in all. Um, but Torres, yeah, feels decent in this first game. We'll play a couple more and see how he does perform in those as well. So here we go, match number two. Let's have a look at this team. Not the best defence, not the best team in the world. So hopefully Torres can do some damage. Oh, Torres. Torres. Torres, just go away! What the fuck was that? Oh, my Lord. I can't believe he's not scored there. I do apologise for uh, blowing anyone earlobes off who's wearing headphones. Torres, there we go, looping header over the keeper, great goal, and yes, I can confirm, he's decent at heading. Torres, oh, so unlucky there, it's the crossbar, again, great attempt. Torres gets in! We finally got the goal to put us in front. And Fernando Torres there, brilliant positioning, brilliant first touch to bring it down. And then a brilliant finish. What a goal from him. Look at that. Torres at his prime, that, innit? What a goal. El Nino. So we do this, win this one 3-2. And it's all thanks to that man, Fernando Torres. Two goals in this one. Played really well. Um, the only thing is, I'm not blown away by him. I've just reviewed uh, Van Persie, base icon. And honestly, Van Persie blew me away. He felt a lot better on the ball. He could provide assists and passes, which Torres can't. And Torres is a lot more expensive than him, uh, which is a shame. Obviously, I'm a Liverpool fan. I'm not being biased in the three at all. But honestly, the two games I've played so far with Torres, Van, Van Persie was miles better. He just was. He fits the game, I think, a lot better than Torres. But he's, Torres is definitely still a decent card. Very usable. Uh, he can head the ball, as he scored here. Um, and his finishing is really good. His pace is really good. But there's just it, his dribbling doesn't feel fantastic. Um, it doesn't feel the greatest. Obviously, he doesn't have the flur shot like um, Van Persie has. But just take a look at this goal. Outside the foot from uh, Messi there. Straight into the top bin from about 25 yards. What a goal that was. But yeah, Torres. Let's go into another final game with him. And see if we can get some more goals. So into the final game of the player review. Now, I've had three rage quits on the bounce. When it was nil-nil for some stupid reason. But this team, absolutely fantastic. This is one's going to be a tough one. But fingers crossed. We can get some goals with Fernando Torres in this final game of the review. Oh, Torres. Torres, can he get away from the defender? He can, but the keeper's there again. Honestly, he showed really good strength and pace there, but he still should be putting these in the back of the net, lads. If that was Van Persie there in that situation, I guarantee you that was going in. Why is he taking so long to run into the box again? Medium, medium work rates there, pulling him out of position. And that is definitely a con with the card, lads. Um, yeah, his positioning's decent, but sometimes he just there's no there's no get up and go about him. There's no emphasis to get into the box or get the ball. Yeah, he's just a bit lackluster, to be honest. Torres Megs and outside the foot shot. Now that was a lovely goal. What a goal! <laughs> that cheeky Megs and the outside of the foot shot from that angle 
even though he doesn't have the outside of the foot shot tree, he's going to score him, lads, because of his really high finishing. Lovely, lovely. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, you are choking! Honestly, I'm really underwhelmed with this card. I've got to be honest. He's okay, but he's not amazing. I've got to be honest. If that was Van Persie, again, I keep reiterating back to Van Persie because I've only just reviewed him, literally. And he's well better. He's miles better. That was Van Persie. That was flying in the net. Come on, Torres. Look, he's not even... He should be burning them off there, lads. Honestly, he's just lackluster. He's not... He's not bad by any means, but he's just not brilliant. And the card, the stats on it, honestly, they feel like a lie. Right, there we go. Bit of pace. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. After I've just said that, he does go and get a lovely goal yet again inside the box. He does have the pace. He does have the skills. Cut inside and a good finish. But, yeah, he's good at stuff like that. But, I don't know. There's just... A couple of things about him that are not amazing. Like that. Red card. Get him off. Unlucky. Unlucky Torres. And there we have it. A rage quit in the final game. Uh, literally seconds after the Torres goal, Messi went and scored uh, a lovely finesse shot. 1-2 um, off a free kick and then bang straight into the top bin. But... Fernando Torres, yeah, I've got definitely a lot to talk about with the card, uh, so let's get on into the player summary right now. So here we are at my overall thoughts and opinions of this Fernando Torres card. Now, take away three games because we have three rage quits from people who were just literally got into a game and they left. Uh, so in three games, he scored five goals. He didn't get any assists. I I'm disappointed with the card. He's not crap, but he's not good. And for 680k, you want good, you want meta, you want amazing. And Van Persie, have just reviewed, I keep reiterating it, lads, go and watch the review. Van Persie was out of this world compared to this card. I thought this card out of medium, medium work rates at one point uh, in the review. He actually has high medium, but his run making wasn't that good. It really wasn't. It was hit and miss, and I don't know why that was. Good things about him, though, four star, four star, yep, yeah, you can do skills with him, and yes. Uh, his, his weak foot is usable. His finish inside the box is absolutely insane. It really is. Um, from time to time, his pace feels good, but it also feels bad. It wasn't consistent. Obviously, he hasn't got the lengthy uh, accelerate, so that could be one of the factors with this card, why he wasn't getting behind every single time. Uh, he did get caught up quite a few times, but genuinely, Van Persie felt faster for some reason. Uh, his passing is shocking, absolutely shocking. So I would recommend getting someone who can pass the ball up front next to him or obviously if you're playing cam formation, yeah, get people who can pass because Torres cannot. His dribbling, again, doesn't feel that good, lads. 87 agility feels like a lie, genuinely. He doesn't turn that quick. He does turn like a double-decker bus at times, I'm not going to lie. Um, his heading's really good. He did score a header for us and he wins quite a lot of headers, so that's good about him. His stamina's good as well. He isn't knackered at the end of every game like some of your other icons or players. Um, his strength's decent. He does hold off uh, defenders from time to time. But all in all, it was an okay card. Can't say it was amazing. Can't say it was crap. And for that reason, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. It's definitely usable. Definitely a decent card. But for 700k nearly, you can get miles better cards on this game for a lot less. I'm not joking. It's a shame because I really love Torres. He's one of my favourite, um, well, favourite players of all time, I was going to say, because I am a Liverpool fan. And it, it was that era of mine, of my childhood, when he was playing for Liverpool, scoring the goals. But this card, to me, was a bit lackluster on this game, I'm not going to lie. I'm, not, I'm here to give my honest opinions and not be biased because I like the, the player. But honestly, I was disappointed with the card. Um, but he's still good is what I'm trying to say. You can use him, he will get your goals, but he's not brilliant, amazing, like other players are on this game. So, thank you all for watching today's play review. If you have enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are new around here, please do think about 
just clicking that subscribe button. If we can get to 3,000 subscribers by Christmas, I will be absolutely over the moon, lads. Really will. Uh, so thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.